Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with a brilliant God of War Ragnarok Valhalla DLC on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making our way towards Kratos' throne, trying to work out what it is symbolising, and also trying to work out what this mysterious voice may be when we get near to the throne. It sounds a lot like either Heremes or maybe Helios, but it could be someone completely different. But yeah, let's get straight into things. Now, unfortunately, I did suffer my first proper death in the previous video, but I kind of got screwed over because I went through one of the doors, and when we went through the door, an enemy basically spawned right on the door. So before I had time to react, it already knocked off like three quarters of my health, and then I went to the next room, had such a small amount of health, I ended up dying. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because that really bloody annoyed me. This is not the kind of DLC where you want to be dying, as it's uh, obviously a roguelite. Alright, we don't need to customise our armour. Doesn't look like there's any labours to pick up. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? That is true, that is true. I suppose we could have a look if we've got any mastery seals. I don't think we're going to have that many to spend. Investing in yourself. Yeah, we've got basically zero. We've got seven. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, once we're done with this run and we reach the uh, throne once again, we should get ourselves quite a few mastery seals. Valhalla selects your opponents for a reason. Embrace the challenge, but know you can prevail. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we are in excellent hands. Hey, stop kissing ass, Mamir. <laughs> I know you fancy Sigrun, but stop kissing ass. Right, I'm going to try and go as quick as possible so we can get back to where we was. Lovely jubbly. Adds a concussive wave to the end of the spear combo, which is lovely. But I might have to go with this. What's Blazing Surge? Oh, I very, very rarely use that. Yeah, I very rarely use that. I might as well go with this. Sometimes you are going to get glyphs and things that are just not useful for you, you know? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's definitely beneficial to just bloody die. <laughs> right, where are you, you little bastards? Oh, flipping hell, smacked him right on the chin with the uh, shield then. Oh, I already killed him. Calm down, Kratos. Calm down, buddy. They're already dead. Man, it's going to be a run where they really want me to use my drop near spear, ain't it? I don't want to use my drop near spear. Honor the Fallen. I think this is one I used off camera. Not off camera. Uh, no, that's not the one. I mean, that does leave you vulnerable to attack. I mean, look how long he keeps himself in a vulnerable state. <laughs> I might have to go with this. They've both got the same cooldown anyway. Alright, looks like if we're getting into any scuffles with any bosses, we're going to have to make sure we use our drop near spear, because it's going to be the only thing that does any damage. <laughs> no chats? Normally when we get to these sanctuaries, you like having a chat. Or am I being punished because I died? Ooh. 
and just having a quick look around as always. Every time we come to these locations, as I've said in every video so far, I think, we have to check every nook and cranny because there could be a golden chest that contains mastery seals or other kinds of currencies that we've uh, not actually discovered yet, but I'll talk about more when we get those currencies. So we definitely need to look around. These ones over here, this is what we need. These bad boys. I suppose I could talk about it now. Eventually, we will get a new kind of uh, permanent upgrade tombstone that we can interact with but you use spirit seals on that one and mastery seals or sometimes just spirit seals and you can get other cool upgrades like start each run with a re with a resurrection stone or stuff like that or increase the chance of finding something good or a higher rarity of glyph inside the chests and stuff like that just more things that will make your next run that bit easier the symbols on the gateways indicate what lies ahead and can help inform choices yeah so we need to probably come on here and have a look at the, uh, where's it at? So we want to come on to, uh, was it, was it lessons we need to be on, ain't it? There we go, lessons, Valhalla symbols. So there'll be a perk glyph through this one, and I think the other one was a stats glyph, wasn't it? No, one of those. Alright, see if I can get anything decent on here. I don't think I've really got that much money, no. Melee attacks have a luck chance to critically strike, creating a damaging, damaging explosion. See, that's amazing. Even though I've got no luck whatsoever, hard, well, a little teeny bit, that's amazing. Oh, I would have actually have gotten that. We can upgrade this, though. Nah, we'll save our uh, echoes for now. Right, I'm going to take this door. Oh, this is the play, yep. Watch your right. Oh, that fucking dude over the back keeps frying shit at me. Yeah, dodge that, you fuck. Cheeky little devil. Oh, no, what are you doing here? Oh, not the dickheads from bloody... Oh, it's the fairy guys, ain't it, or whatever they're called. I'm feeling I'm playing very dirty at the moment, you know. So you gotta play sometimes, you know. <laughs> Even though they're not really that strong because their health bars are green, which means they are somewhat weak. We are like over leveling them a bit. It's when it's uh, yellow or red, that's when you wanna worry, I think. I think yellow's the one where they're like equal level to you, in it, Something like that. There we go. Not the way you should be playing in a God of War game, but what works, works. I don't give a damn. It's always nice that they always leave the uh, health stones in the same location. So when you've been playing through it for a while, when you're getting familiar with each of the different realms and zones, you always know where there's going to be a health stone. Either if you want to use it after the fight or during the fight. It's nice. If they put it in a random place, that'd be bloody annoying. And increase the chance of me just leaving it behind. Oh, look at that spear. We'll just leave it there. Hopefully some arsehole goes over and touches it and blows up. Combo finishers have a higher luck chance to increase Kratos' strength and stagger resistance for a duration. Moderate luck chance to grant a blessing of runic... Yeah... That's a good one, but we ain't got many uh, decent runic attacks, so we'll go with that. Have to make sure we finish our combos more often, though. Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? 
If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out. And it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything. But don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? Well, that would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison. It's a good point, Kratos. You should be doing it for the right reasons, you know, because you actually want to help people. But uh, at the same time, you do want to be loved and adored. We saw your reaction when you opened up that that little uh, Joltenheim door at the end of the main story. You were very happy about being worshipped and loved as a god. <laughs> you were very happy. The shock in your face, and I swear you had a few tears of joy. After the life you've had, Kratos, I don't blame you for wanting to have some people love you. Like normal people. Yeah, go on then. We can upgrade our just base runic, might as well. Right, so if we go through this door, we'll get, I think, like 200 echoes. And if we go through this door, we'll get another one of those uh, perks. Hmm. I think we'll go through here. The thing is, with echoes, you can choose what. Well, you can't really choose. Whatever's available, you can buy. I think we'll go through here. It's probably going to be better. Just remember, there's a certain amount of perks and glyphs that you can have before you need to, like, destroy a few. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me, where'd you come from? That's cheating, isn't it? You can't do that. What the fuck? I died. Oh, I'm pressing circle again. Never mind, I'm being an idiot. I might have just buff myself over massively. Great day, brother. Oh, I love that. I love the concussive waves that it adds to the end of your attack. Uh, to your attack when you uh, hold down L1 and triangle when it's charged up. I don't know what you two were doing. You've been a little bit weird. It's like you were just standing there and just not really doing much, just falling back down. A yeah, couple of twats, if I'm honest. Although I did take a very big amount of unnecessary damage then, because for some reason I'm still obsessed with pressing circle to dodge. I don't even know why. I don't think I've played anything for a while now where circle has been the dodge button. But I think it is more often than not, circle is the dodge. But for some reason in this game, it's X. So, yeah. Just going to have to get used to it. I need to start playing more off camera and then we'll be all right. I could have come down here and lobbed this at someone. Right, give me something good. Moderate luck chance to grant a blessing of runic. Oh, it's the same fucking thing. <laughs> runic attacks to increase damage against status afflicted enemies. I mean, that is good. But getting, getting them status afflicted ain't always bloody easy. I'll go with this because we're going to be dodging. So we'll just naturally get it. Oh, we're back in Asgard. Heading back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that. One way or the other. Oh yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but I just keep thinking about the fact that Tyr is still alive, you know? So he's technically the god of war. <laughs> 
Oh, look at that. That is amazing. I love seeing that in the distance. I love it. I love the fact that there's going to be so many references to the original trilogy. I love it. That's one of the things I liked about Ragnarok was uh, Kratos actually talking about his past, especially with Atreus. Because in the first one, here, well, in the fourth one, I should say, he never really, he never really talks about it very often. And he's always trying to uh, look out for Atreus and keep things secret. Whereas in this game, he actually, you know, shared some of the the painful stuff of his past. If you go through that door, when you open the chest, you'll get a bunch of health, which uh, is probably the worst one to uh, get. You don't want to get that one. You don't really want to go through there. I mean. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Oh. But there is a there is an item we can get when we unlock that other... I keep calling them tombstones because they just look like tombstones to me. But those uh, tombstones that we interact with to increase our uh, permanent stats, um, when we get the second one where we can use those spirit seals or whatever they're called, there is one you can get. I think you have to spend quite a lot of spirit seals, so we have to save up for it but it gives you a chance of finding mastery seals inside pots. So that's amazing. It can get you a lot more mastery seals, especially when you're never finding any of these gold chests anywhere. Hard not to take Valhalla up on some help, even if it's just for this attempt. Lovely. It would have been nice to have get, gotten that uh, buff to our luck, especially a lot of our stuff involves luck at the moment, but never mind. We're going to get a bunch of echoes now anyway. Oh, these are the ones that put that uh, Bifrost on you, ain't they? damage I took. That's bullshit. No, that's bollocks. Nah. Look at the amount of... Uh, that's, that's some shit, that is. It's because it wanted me to double tap the L1 to use my shield. I think there is a healing stone over here, but it's not going to help very much. <laughs> and we could still buy a health stone from the uh, thing, actually. Yeah, it's not going to be a massive big deal. And we've still got a, a full bar of Spartan Rage. So it's not a big deal. We, we can heal ourselves up back to full health quite simply, actually. Oh, here we go. So we're going to be going into a boss room then. <laughs> I was wondering if we'd ever be told. Oh, I don't think there's anywhere for me to spend my bloody... Oh, that's bullshit. What the fuck? Right, we cannot die, otherwise we'll have to do all of this again. It's alright reaching a checkpoint, getting more story elements, and then dying. That's what, well, we're not dying, but, well, yeah, then dying, then it's fine. But dying like now and having to do it all again is just pointless. Alright, well, we've got our Spartan Rage. We've got our um, runic attack with this bad boy. Right, hopefully it's not, hopefully it's not one tough. Oh shit, he's put Bifrost on me. Oh, 
That's right, bitch. Alright, Piggy's dead. Oh, you're the villain. I thought the pig would have been tougher than you. When they've got a grey shield, I don't think it matters what you hit them with. I think you can hit them with anything. Oh, you cheeky fucker! Nah, that's... Oh, okay, there we go. Oh! Valhalla chose that enemy to face me. I sense there are more... Defeating Valhalla's Chosen will unlock the Ascending Sands. Okay. For challengers like it to find. That is how we earn our way forward. All right. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything I can interact with, which is a big shame. Huh. Drastically increase the power of the rising wind skill. I need to try and remember what all these skills are. Drastically increase the power of spear throw and drill spear. Oh, well, we might, we might as well take that, eh? <laughs> we keep on using this. See, now this is a drop near spear I could, uh, upgrade I could get behind, you know. Like, one that I really like getting off camera, to check if ready pots or anything. One that I do like getting off camera is um, there is a... <laughs> Uh, an upgrade that you can get where it basically it lowers the chance of you being able to use your L1 and triangle ability where you power up your weapons and they get like the extra elemental damage to them and it takes 30% less time to charge them up. That's bloody amazing. I love that. I don't know if we've got to fight another boss. I think we might have to. Right then. Time to ascend to the next area if you're ready. Okay, maybe we don't need to fight another one. Oh. Maybe we're okay then, maybe. Oh, we could spend our bloody echoes as well. What a godsend that is. And we could also buy ourselves a health upgrade. Oh, we could also fill up our uh, rage as well. We should have enough echoes to do both. We got 200 from that chest. Yeah, we should be able to get Kratos back into decent shape, actually. And we've got some spirit seal, uh, spirit seal tokens, so I'll be able to show you guys and girls that if we uh, don't end up dead. Okay, looks like we have to go through. Yep. I think there might be another boss, but I'm not 100% sure. Melee attacks have a luck chance to critically... Str oh yeah, we'll grab that. Grab this. You can also only buy these once. Once you buy the uh, minor rage burst and the same with the health one, uh, they're gone for good. So if you find another one of these later and you've got enough echoes, you can't buy another one, I don't think. All right, we should be full health now, or near enough. Oh yeah, we are full health. And nearly full rage as well. Very nice. All right, if we do have to fight anything shitty, we should be... Maybe okay. It all depends on how I play. That's the that's the problem. I'm not playing very well. It's my uh, thing attack, really. I ain't got many runic attacks, have I? <laughs> I've literally got one, and it's on charge. Oh, for fuck's sake, I knew it. Oh, God. Fuck off. I've got my uh, Spartan Rage ready, mate, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't start with me. I, I told you to start with me. Your bell end. Not 
Today, bitch. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh, we got a divine triumph. That's what you use when you get to, like, once you've, like, upgraded your health a few times, then it wants you to spend mastery seals and a divine uh, seal. So, yeah, fucking hell. We're, we're doing, doing all right at the moment. I don't want to blow my own horn, but... Oh, yeah. A mastery seal chest. 43, lovely. That'll get us another health upgrade, maybe. Or maybe a, a Spartan Rage. Maybe a little bit of everything, actually. I might go with this, to be honest. I'm going to go with this. Because we're doing alright with the health at the moment. I'm probably going to regret that, ain't I? Okay, we should get some... I nearly left my axe behind. Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mimir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mimir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? Oh no! Oh no! It's Helios! Oh no! Yeah, because we were we were working with him, weren't we? We were working with him to fight the Titans, and then I think he got—I can't remember. Yeah, we were fighting the Titans, I think, and he was helping us. And then doesn't he like crash? And then we basically threaten him to kill him, and then he starts attacking us with his bloody like sun power, and we just keep having to block his sun rays like that, don't we? In God of War Three, and then we tear off his fucking head because Kratos had no chill back in the old days. <laughs> Oh, sweet. You're not going to start bugging me now, Helios, are you? I thought you were Heremes. I hope I'm saying that name right. I apologise if I'm not. What's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Oh man, the happiness I'm feeling right now is crazy. Because God of War 3 is one of my favourite games of all time. It's one of the very few 10 out of 10s that I've ever given to games. So just seeing all these little references. You know, seeing that chain and the two... Yeah, that thing right... Literally that thing right there. Seeing that. And seeing hearing Helios' voice and stuff like that. And knowing that there's going to be a Cyclops turning up at some point because of the uh, the uh, announcement trailer. And also some of the music you get from the original games. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Feeling a little bit on edge at the moment though of all of these weird uh, statues everywhere that are not coming to life. Oh, they better not add any Gorgons. Oh, no, they put Gorgons in it. and then, No, 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 this DLC is no longer good. Don't want to deal with bloody Medusa's minions. No way. Creepy devil, especially in this uh, PS5 quality. Fuck that. It'll be a sad day when God of War is gone for good. It'll be a sad day. Say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? Yeah. A mighty change. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all going to work out just great for you. I can feel it. You, you, need to sh you need to shut up. You do. You need to shut up, Helios. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I remember when we were playing God of War 3, when we were doing some sort of puzzle involving these chains, 
every time we uh, went near the button or the switch or whatever we had to interact with, these barriers would go up and we had to fight like three-headed dogs and like cerebuses and stuff like that and all sorts of other Greek mythology shite. Oh, don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well then. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Was this your house, Helios? I don't remember ever going to your home. Maybe we did. We went to a lot of places uh, throughout the seven or so games that we played in the original uh, saga. We had the three main games, then we had uh, three spin-offs. I don't know, I mean, Ascension was technically a main game, but it was more of a spin-off, and probably the worst one they ever made. Although the multiplayer mode in Ascension was amazing, I loved that. I don't know what, other, what everyone else thought of it, but I thought it was amazing. Oh, look, it's Greek, look at the Greek pots. Oh, look at that. That reminds me of Hercules on the PS1 more than anything else. I wonder if that is the original voice actor of Helios, because I recognised the voice when I first heard it, although I did get it completely wrong. <laughs> I thought it might have been Heremes at first. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? <laughs> oh, those madcap <gasps> early days. How you must miss them. I definitely <gasps> remember that. <laughs> I definitely remember that because Kratos didn't give a single <sighs> shit. He just stuck the fucking soldier in there and that was it. He roasted the motherfucker because we had to make a sacrifice to get through the door or something. Oh, bloody hell. Now, we've got to be fighting something bad, haven't we? Yeah, we're going to be fighting something bad. Alright, well, hopefully it's not too long, because I've got to end the video soon. I'm keeping these videos at about 35 minutes-ish. Which kind of seems a bit pointless. I should just go with a normal 40 minutes, but... <laughs> There's the uh, roasted soldier. <clears throat> what, what are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? <laughs> oh shit, it's God of War, uh, uh free troops. <laughs> What do you think of my new weapon, boy? Oh, God. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. What are you doing? Oh, what'd you do that for, Kratos? You idiot. Okay, well we nearly filled up our Spartan Rage, so it's not too bad. Seems you'll need to push me along to get anywhere. Yeah, shut the hell up, Helios. You better not start doing this when I do my intro. Alright, I'm good to end the video now, Wolf Morbet, so let me pause it, otherwise Helios is gonna distract me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf Morbet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I'm keeping the videos a little bit shorter, but um yeah, it just makes it a bit easier for me if I keep the videos a bit shorter because then I can render a video and it's normally done rendering before I go to work and then I can start rendering the second video. So that allows me to make more videos, build up a stockpile and then it increases the chance of double upload. So yeah, I'll probably try my best to stick to 35 minutes in smaller games like this, The Last of Us Part 2's um, No Return Mode, 
foam stars if I do that, which I will be, hell divers, things like that. I'll probably try and keep them around 30, 35 minutes because that extra five minutes does a lot of damage to the render time. It's ridiculous. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today.